write this insert query to add data in our table of posts so first of all let's change all of these redirection to the same page of add new post so add new post here and then in the success message here and in the error message here saving this one now you have to focus on this block from line 27 to line 34 so first SQL insert into instead of category we will insert in our table of posts let's confirm the spelling of this table name that is posts in lower form then we will have couple of column the first column is date and time so putting date and time at the beginning the next column is title we already have title then we have category so putting category at third then we have column of author it's already there then we have column of image so putting it here then we have column of post so putting at the end here so now we have to specify the named parameter for each column so the first column will be date time so putting it at the beginning here then we will have the title column for our post so defining it here as an post title as I told you before it will be a dummy name so you can put any type of text here so post title will be second one then the category so we already have category name here so then we have author we have admin name here then we have image so we will have image name then at last we will have our post so I will call it post description after that we will prepare this whole SQL and then we will bind the value we already bind this category name to this variable of category so let's confirm this category variable so scrolling down to the PHP we put the category name inside category the admin name will be admin the date and time will be at date and time variable but let's do all of this in a complete right sequence according to our named parameter so the date and time will be at the beginning although the order does not matter but I think it will be easy for you to look if all of this in a sequence so first one will be the date and time then we will have second stmt that will bind this post title and we need colon here also we need colon at the beginning of date and time so the variable that we need to put here will be post title this variable then we will have category name we already wrote that one admin name and then we will have our image name so our image name is saved inside this variable of image so this one on line 8 so we can mention simply this variable of image here then we have post description so copying all of this and paste it here for post description and the post description has the variable of post text so putting that variable here so now saving this one let's remove unnecessary lines from here so after that we will execute our 
whole statement and then we will show the statement with a success message or error message so if I save this one and first let's refresh our page to load the new PHP so I will say here first post and choosing my category to fitness so selecting some image from my folder of downloads so I will select this 3.jpg image if I hover on this tab you can see 3.jpg and in the post description I will put here something like this is testing post so if I click on this publish button you can see I got this message category with ID one added successfully so I need to change this title so let's change it to post with ID or something so we added this one so first let's check by clicking on first this table and then clicking on the browse tab you can see the name of my image 3.jpg the author name the category fitness text date and time and the post description so if I open my uploads folder so here is my uploads folder inside my CMS 4.2.1 but there is no image here at all it's because we wrote all of this script to add the data in our database and I told you earlier we cannot save our whole image in our database we can just simply save the name of our image that we did here you can see the name of our image 3.jpg so in order to save your image you have to save it to other directory here if I can show you real quick I have this variable of target online 9 where we specified the location where we will save our image but we have to move our image from its source to its destination so this will be the destination of our image where we will save our image but we have to use another function to pick our image from downloads folder and save it to this upload folder so right inside this else block right after executing this whole query this whole one I will have one simple PHP function of move underscore uploaded underscore file and this function will take our image by using the super global of files and our image has the name of image and then we have to specify one more thing here that will be tmp underscore name actually whenever php will upload some file it will give that file some temporary name and it will be different than the actual file name and php will only remember the file name with this constant of tmp underscore name so inside this function of move uploaded file i'm saying here to php that by using the super global of files take this image which has some temporary name given by you given by php so in the first argument we will specify this one and in the second argument we have to specify the location so we already wrote the location in form of a target variable here at the top on line 9 so it will take our whole image and put it in the target location that's it now if i save this script and first let's refresh our page so adding second post selecting some image for example this animation dot jpg and post of second clicking publish button you can see post with id2 added successfully so here you can also see the second post 
name of our image but we have to make sure whether we upload it in the folder of uploads or not so this is my uploads folder it's still empty so this uploads folder is empty so we have to find out what's the error so back to my editor here is this function move underscore uploaded underscore file then we specified the temporary name constant here and then we have the target here so we have to check whether this target is okay or not so scrolling up here I said go to this upload folder and here we have uploads so I have to add the S here because this folder name is uploads not upload then we will have base name underscore files image and name so if I save this one and let's refresh our page adding third post this image of HTML5 CSS3 dot JPG post title post description will be third post dummy publish post edit successfully here you can see the third post and let's check our up upload folder congratulations we finally made our script to upload the file in our directory of uploads and here is this image so this is how we enter our images now let me walk you through everything what I have done in this file of add new post so it's very simple file first I grabbed every single field by super global of post but for the image I use this super global of files that take our file that has the name of image and I saved the whole image name inside this image variable as I said we cannot save our image directly in our database we can just save the name of our image then we have this post text which we grabbed out of the field of post description we have admin and date and time we have these simple validation if post title is empty if length is less than 5 or greater than 999 we will show user some error otherwise we will write this insert statement that will put all of our data in our table of posts after that we executed our query and move our uploaded file from its source destination where PHP is holding that file in the super global of files to the destination where we want to save that file and that location is this uploads folder then we are showing the success message and error message now last comments for this lecture is make sure that you add one additional argument inside your form and that is adding this ink type to multi part slash form dash data in order to process your images and also we are putting our category dynamically we are fetching all the categories from our table of category so that's how we process images and data and we save them in our database in PHP by using PDF.